Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video tutorial, as I have promised you all, I'm going to be showing you how to do trigger board for the game Paladins. And this trigger board is going to be done using the color detection. And then this, this, the features of this are this is completely undetectable by any anti cheats because what we'll be doing is that we'll be taking the screenshots and then checking the color and then based on the color we are going to be shooting so the first step is i'll be showing you how this works so i'll be back after loading the game Let's go into play training and then shooting range. This will allow you to test your test your hat for any amount of time. And then I'll be providing you a file it's called as files. Required, Let's get this done. We'll be having all these files which are required for this hack. Select some player and then let me show you the settings in which this hack works. You should have the resolution of 1024 by 768. It should be in the windowed mode and then in the gameplay. The reticle, reticle sorry, reticle color should be yellow and the reticle type should be drop. These are the settings which should be compulsorily followed. So let's get started. Let me show you the working of the hack first. Just turn, uh, may open this executable. So it says the paladin's trigger board. Put your radial type into yellow and then as the same thing which I have said you. And then in, go into the game and then press your number one button on the come back it, it searched for the game name and then it found the game name so now to the start the trigger what you need to press again one so it says that trigger bot has been started and then you need to hover over your enemies to auto shoot and you can exit out of this application by pressing delete key at any time even though if you are in the game so all right now as soon as I aim at some enemy it starts auto shooting. I'm not even touching my First hands. Blood I'm just game. clamping my hands. I just aimed at him and it is auto shooting. If you can see creating in this series of series I'm not even touching my hands. Even if it is auto detecting my enemy and shooting. This is the trigger board which we are going to be creating. And I get out of this application. Killing spree. Directly press the delete. And now the hack has stopped and it is not detecting the enemies or shooting. And then we exited out of this application. Mm, this is the first step. I have shown you the worthy. thing. Now I will be showing you an uh, explanation of how this works. So uh, I have previously taken two screenshots of the game. So that it will be easy for me to show you. So if you can see or else let me show it to you in the game. If you see the color of the dot, dot which is present in the center of the circle is yellow in color. Mm -hmm which is at the center of the screen, the dot and then if you hover it over to the enemies it changes to red this you can observe and then let's say you are far away from the enemy this would change to something like orange color see, you, you can see the difference it is now yellow in color now it became orangish brownish orange color and then if you be near near him or her it changes to a little bit darker red 
so what we do is we scan for the color which is in the center of the screen and if it changes to red or if it changes to orange orange color we are going to shoot at him him or her that is the thing that is the explanation so to to know the color we are going to be using these two pictures so if it is at if you if you are aiming at your friend the color would change to blue see you can see the yellow color has changed to blue and then if it is your enemy it is going to be changed into red these are the things which you need to be keeping in your mind while doing coding and then these two files for those which you can which you can do by your own self themselves so the second part i have explained you how this one works so now we will we'll be going to start our coding so to do coding we need to have some prerequisites the prerequisites are paladins game which is non steam which is recommended if you have the steam version also it is okay but then to use the steam version you need to bypass the esc which i'll be telling you at the last stage of this tutorial so we need to have the game and the second thing is you need to have the visual studio of any version the thing is that you need to be able to write c++ code in that any version is recommended okay i used 2017 version professional you can use any version if you want the link i'll be posting the link but then the links will be expired by the microsoft website so i'm not putting the link and then the third thing is you will be needing the paint to detect the color detection that i'll be showing you in the coding coding part of the video so these three things now you go ahead and install all these three things and get ready for the tutorial i'll i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching this video